at this face. Look at this face. Look at that hair. Should we do the thumbnail of this? <laughs> yeah, keep barking. Seriously, whenever I do these kinds of things, the dogs here just start barking. And it's irritating. Hello, fellow Martians, and welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, we are going to talk about Promtober, days one to three, and my thoughts on Creator 2. First of all, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, I am Nicole, aka Mama Martian, and this is the Martian headquarters. And to those who are returning visitors, hello. Did you miss me? Did you miss the space? Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think you missed it. <laughs> So I am back here in front of the camera and I am still warming up to it but it's, it's been a long time since I last did this chatty vlog where I just talked and uh, I didn't want to do podcasts like all the time I was thinking of different variations of what I can do every Saturday so here's the first attempt I'm doing a chatty vlog I'm also going to do an update for Promptober days 1 to 3 so yeah because I didn't do writing vlogs, so this is the best thing that I can come up with. Update you guys weekly on what's happening. But before we do talk about that, we are going to do some house cleaning first. So I will still treat my uh, chatty vlog as podcast, so you guys are updated on what's happening. Also, my neighbor's dog just started barking, and I hate it when they do that. <laughs> also, this video isn't uh, scripted. I went back to just, you know, taking notes on my notebook on what I'm going to talk about because it gives me freedom to talk about what needs to be said without, you know, trying to read a script somewhere. <laughs> okay, first step that we're going to talk about is my writing. And I will include the final days of September because they're in the same week. I surpassed the 100,000 word count with my story, but... I will still cut down words for the final draft. Uh, I have this tendency that I fluctuate with my word counts whenever I rewrite, so hopefully by the final draft, I will tone it down a bit because 100,000 is like a, it's like too big of a word count for me. Because um, I'm an overwriter, I understand why. So hopefully by the end of the final draft, it's not 100,000 anymore. <laughs> Next thing that i'm very very proud of and i discovered this yesterday i updated my story on good novel which if you're not if you're not updated i am now promoting the impact of her which is on good novel and the link is in the description so you guys can check it out i was updating uh my my story there i uploaded a new chapter and I didn't know that the site had a new update and because of that new update I saw that I have earnings <laughs> to be fair the earning isn't that big but <laughs> I don't know how long my story has been on good novel but when I saw that I had earnings it means that somebody was reading or there are people who are reading the locked chapters so if you're one of those people, thank you very much for reading the story and thank you for loving the story. I hope you are enjoying it. I update every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays, and Fridays on good novels. So you guys have, you know, more chapters to read. Next is for my channel. Uh, I posted the stream schedule for week two of October on Instagram. So if you're not updated on that, my Instagram is in the description down below as well. So you go ahead and check it out. I will be doing streams not only on YouTube but also on Twitch. So if you're on Twitch, we're going on Twitch. <laughs> I will be doing two streams at least on Twitch because that's the only thing I'm going to do on that site. So let us proceed into the next topic, which is my Promptober update. Uh, <sighs> previously, the plan for Promptober is to write for 30 minutes using the prompt on that day however i am writing the prompts here in this notebook and i told myself that i'm giving myself at least 20 minutes <laughs> so back to the topic i write my prompt here and it only takes like 20 25 minutes 
as we're saying, <laughs> I write the prompts here. And what I do is I just finish one page, one whole page from the for the prompts. And that's been working miracles for me. I find it much easier. So here's the update. I'm going to share to you guys how much how much words were written. For prompt number day one, I wrote 182 words because this one this one is the hard prompt to do. Because it's related on a true story and I don't want to offend anybody related to that. So I did my best. I also did my research. And no, so nobody comes for me on this video. I did my research. But it's still hard to write. Uh, for prompt over day 2, I wrote 274 words. And for prompt over day 3, I got 198 words. Now, for day 1. For day 1 of prompt over, it was very difficult to write. Because like I said, it's... It's from a true story and I did my research, but I didn't want to offend anybody. So I was really, really cautious with what I was writing. I didn't get to the part where there was like, you know, the bad thing has happened, but I was writing it. It became depressing because the scenario I was writing, it was like a happy moment. And then when I think about what's going to happen next, I'm like, yeah, this is this. Uh, oh, it was heavy. For day two, it became a lot personal. Day two was somehow related to one of my ex-lovers uh, mischievous deeds if we're going to put it lightly and a lot of flashbacks just happened um, but I wasn't affected it just it just really became too personal for my taste <laughs> day three was easier um, it was like I was just writing a fiction uh, fiction novel so it's easy to put myself in the MC shoes so that's why I got 288 words out of that. <laughs> now we are going to the topic of this video, the main topic, which is creator two. <laughs> now, this topic is going all over uh, the author tube space um, for quite some time, and I didn't hop on the bandwagon right away because because I thought things through. And I didn't want to do a decision that I know I will not be happy in the long run. So, yeah, we're not talking about that. <laughs> so, what is Creator 2? Well, upon on my own understanding, this is my own opinion. So, yeah, you can have your own opinion for that. Okay? Creator 2 is this based on YouTube environment where you can be as creative as you want without having the need to label yourself as one certain creative person. You can do all of your creative stuffs with Creator 2. That's what, that's what I understood and that's my own opinion. Again, my own understanding. This is not a general understanding. This is my own opinion. <laughs> so how did it start? Uh, I first... Well, not I. This all started when Marisa Mohi posted a video about her stepping out of author two. And I will not go into details because I don't want to speak for her. So I will link her channel or her video rather in the description. Oops, sorry. I will link that video in the description box below so you guys can listen to what she had to say, how she explained everything. And then after that, um, Miss Tasha Warren uh, had the creator tube tag. And yeah, that's how everything started. And, every and there are, you know, other authors that have you know made the jump to creator to i don't know what this means so what is my decision upon this change i am joining creator two but but that doesn't mean that i'm stepping out of author two okay now let me explain why i mean by that i will be i will not label myself as a pure author tuber now i call myself as a content creator now, the reason why I said that I'm not jumping out of author two because being a writer is under being a creative person. It's under being a creator. So you have writers, book lovers, painters, photographers. So I can say that I'm stepping out of author two because I'm still a writer. It's just going to be under the umbrella of creator two. I hope nobody gets offended by this, okay? But this is just me trying to explain why... I'm saying that I am joining Creator Tube, but I'm still a part of the Author Tube family. 
Okay, I'm trying to explain it as best as I can so nobody judges me for this and nobody gets mad, okay? So I'm still part of the other two family. I'm still part of the book two family. Although that I am running behind on my book reviews because I'm such a slow reader. Um, I'm also part of the music side of YouTube because I'm a, I'm a musician. I'm a songwriter. I'm also part of the, I guess I'm really part. I have a small part of myself that's in the motor, motorcycle vlogging community because I do motorcycle rides with my husband. I know, I'm just saying, I'm joining Creator Tube, but that doesn't mean that I am, you know, leaving, you know, Author Tube or Book Tube. I'm just going to have a different tag or title to myself. I'm not just a pure Author Tuber now, so. Yeah! So, because I am joining Creator Tube, I think it's appropriate that I answer the Creator Tube tag questions. It took me this long to do this. Damn it. So anyways, let us get into the question. First question is how did I find out about Creator Tube? I just explained how Creator Tube came to be a while ago and that's exactly my answer how I found out about Creator Tube. Second question is how do I create and how will I showcase it on my channel? This isn't how the second question was worded. I am I just put it simpler. I don't just write. Like I mentioned, I'm also a songwriter. Uh, I go on travels, motorcycle rides with my husband, and I also play Mobile Legends. Now, how will I showcase it on my channel? Simple. We do vlogs about that. I have dedicated my Mondays as Creative Monday, so during Mondays you expect a lot of creative things from me, other than writing. Number three, what inspired you to go with the change of Creator Tube? Um, this all goes back to me being in high school because um, me being the writer that I am and having you know multiple interests in the creative side of things, I was labeled as weird. And when I arrived in AuthorTube, I encountered other people who thought the same thing as me. We were labeled as weird, so we were, or we were labeled as the writer kids, or you know, the creative ones. And that kind of label kinds of uh, puts us in a box or in a cert yeah in a certain box and that can be you know that can feel like a prison for other people because as creative people in my perspective we shouldn't be lumped into one certain group I think we all should have the freedom to branch out into different creative things for example if, if you're just if you're not just doing writing like if you do photography or if you do painting uh, you shouldn't be you know you shouldn't be stopped and you should be allowed to go and branch out your uh, opportunities so who knows maybe your opportunities with photography or with you know songwriting who knows uh, i believe that every creative person has maybe one or two sets of uh, talents. I know there are people that only have one talent and there are people who are definitely blessed with a lot of creative talents. So we shouldn't be, you know, forced to stay in one certain bubble just because we are mostly known for one thing. No, that is writing. What do you want to gain from the community? Well, first, before I answer this, I don't want to focus on what I can gain. I want to focus on what I can give to the creator to people. So that's that. <laughs> but if we're going to talk about what I want to gain, it's the connections with everybody in the community. I would love to make friends. Uh, I joined this community to make friends and to find people who think the same as I am. Because being a creative person, it does tend to get a bit lonely. So having friends along the way is a great thing. Number five, when did you start creating? At a very young age. <laughs> My parents uh, have definitely called me a very creative child from a very young age. And um, my imagination is very... It doesn't, you know, it doesn't take a break. But my, having my imagination helps me a lot with being a mom. Because I get to, you know, use it in order to bond with my little one. So that is all I have for you today, folks. Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, do give it a big thumbs up and let your thoughts be heard in the comment section below. I'm so sorry if I am too energetic 
in front of the camera. I think this is the effect of not, you know, vlogging for a while and then you come back and then you, suddenly you're all this... Oops. You keep hitting the microphone. <laughs> Again, I'm so sorry if my energy is all over the place. This is just me. This is my regular self, you know, when I'm very, very comfortable with, with what I'm doing. And it's because it's really, really hot now, so I guess that's like survival instincts. <laughs> how about you? Will you be doing a creative tube tag? Will you be joining creative tube? And how was your week? Let me know in the comment section as well. Follow my trail on social media. Everything is listed down below, so check it out. A big thank you to Miss Eva for being a patron. You are a very awesome person. And I am sorry if I haven't provided the patron perks yet because I would love to have more people on Patreon so I can do all those perks. I hope that makes sense. Again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys on the next video. Stay safe, stay creative, and happy writing. My Marcin.